Previously on The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Eat clay pottery, jerk! And so the legend continues. Okay, well let's go ahead and take a look at our handy map here. Well, it seems that the old man wants us to go over here to that village in the west. That sounds like a good idea. Going to villages is always a very good thing to do. You can stock up on items, steal from the townspeople. We can make a day of it. Unfortunately, though, these stupid soldiers are going to be on our ass the whole way. Which, I don't approve of this, but what else can we do? They've been brainwashed by the wizard. That's all they can do. Also, yay, we can pick up signposts and use them to destroy soldiers. That's kind of cool. Also, throughout Hyrule, you'll find these little houses right here. These are fortune teller houses. If you talk to these guys and pay them some rupees, they'll tell you where you need to do next or where you need to go. If you ever get lost, these are very good people to come to. Just thought I'd mention that very quickly. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and pay that elder a visit. He seems to be right here, so... Yeah, let's go for it. Who? Oh, it's you, Slim. What can I do for you, young man? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but... Long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hylia inhabited this land. Legends tell of many tre treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. People say it, it is now sleeping in the forest. Do you understand the legend? Well, yeah, I guess. Didn't really tell me where to find it, but... Anyway, look for the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, Slim. Well, shouldn't he? You know, because you're kind of living in his house. You stupid jerk. Fine, we'll look elsewhere. Although I'm not exactly happy about that. Well, while we're here, we'll go ahead and do some uh, exploring, I guess. What do you have to tell us? Yo, Slim! This house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was their leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind, and he hated bright light a lot. Hmm, that may be something to keep in mind for a future date and time. I'll tell you guys when. But for now, we have some stuff to collect, like these chests. I hope I'll do this correctly. I think if I push you down and you over, I can push you down, you over. Nope, I screwed it up. Well, I can at least get two of the chests for right now. And then if I just go back up here, I can try to get the other two. Also, notice that cracked wall in the background here. I think that'll be important at a later date and time. Oh, dang it, I screwed that up again. <laughs> I am not good at these chess puzzles. you think I would be, but I'm not. Well, I'll come back and get that other one when I get the bomb so I can blow up that wall. Yes, if you didn't know any better, we'll need bombs to blow up that wall. Also, what do you say? Hey, that's me! Wanted. This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. Well, that's not good. Gonna have to uh, keep my distance from the people here. Oh, cool, bombs. You got some bombs. You can pick up and throw a bomb you placed if you press the A button. Okay. For now, though, we're just going to use bombs to blow up walls, though, so... That is all we'll focus on. <coughs> oh, 
Also, this is a very good early place to stock up on rubies, because we'll need a lot of rupees to go throughout this game. And we get a piece of hearts. If we collect four of them, we'll get another heart to our life bar. Which is something that I like very, very much. Okay, let's see. Hey, it's a peddler. What's up, dude? You, sir, have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale now for the low, low price of a hundred rupees. What do you say? Interested? Well, you would be taking half of my life savings, but go ahead, take it. Good boy. Thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? It's good for business. Aww. This is a magic bottle. You can just store an item inside and then use it later. Bottles are very, very helpful items. Getting them throughout the game is a very, very good idea. Because the more bottles you have, the more stuff you can store. Also, hi lady, how are you doing? Hey! Here's Slim, the wanted man! Soldiers, anyone, come quickly! Hey! Not fair! Eat bushes! Ah, oh, that stupid old lady. Well, I guess that sign wasn't messing around. Seems like the whole town is out to get me. I don't like the sound of that. Well, for now, let's uh, blow up this random house. Because there is actually a secret entrance. Oh, come on. Oh, there's my sword. I was like, wait, why is my sword not working? <laughs> I think it was because I was kind of stuck in the doorway still. But yeah, here's a little restock room you can use uh, for the whole game, pretty much. When I was younger, I actually used this restore room a lot to get rupees, but then I found out there are better ways to get rupees throughout the game. Of course, you can also look through the grass and try to find other rupees, too. The world is your oyster to do whatever you want. Also, hello, kid. Hi, Slim. Elder, are you talking about the Grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace past the castle. I will mark the spot on your map. Here you are. Okay, so if we look at our map... Okay, so the Elder is located all the way over there. Well, we'll uh, go over there later. For now, I think there's a few other things we can do here. Let's go to the bar. Mmm, my son really liked to play the flute, but he went to look for the golden power and has not returned. I wonder where he is and what he's doing now. Sleeps. Whoa, I saw her, a very nice young lady at the waterfall of wishing in the hills where the river begins. Slim, you should meet her at least once. I'm sure you will like her. Whoa. I don't know why I made him a drug dealer or something, but it seemed appropriate at the time. Also, there's stuff behind your store. Which leads me to believe that I might want to go through the back door. And yes, that was a very, very good call, because... Why was there a chicken under a bottle? Ah! We get our second bottle. So yes, you get two of the bottles right at the beginning of the game, but the other two bottles we'll have to find. They're in some very odd places. Let's just say that much. Hey, it's a kid in bed. I can't go out because I'm sick. <coughs> People say I caught this cold from the evil air that's coming down off the mountains. This is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. And we got a net. You borrowed the bug catching net. There may be some other things you can catch with it too. And this is basically how we store stuff in bottles. We have to use the bug catching net to actually catch things, and then uh, we'll store them in bottles. 
It seems kind of cruel, but that's the way things are going to work in this game. Also, your house is covered by weeds. Just letting you know. There is a southern part of the village, too, which we'll go ahead and take a look at before we move any further. Here is the local library. And there's a book up here, which I'd love to grab, but... I don't know, apparently this uh, shelf is too big for me. But yeah, it's a book on how to play Game Boy. I'll grab that later, I guess. For now, let's take a look at this house over here. Hey, dude. Yeah, Slim. Now I'm quarreling with my younger brother. I sealed the door to his room. What? What? Dude, what's wrong with you? What if he can't breathe? No, 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 no. You're gonna talk to your brother. Oh, so the doorway is open again. Okay, okay, maybe I should make up with my brother. Yeah. You don't store your brother in a room. You spank him. My god. Kids these days. Hey, Slim. Did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? No, your brother's a jerk, and he needs to learn discipline a little better. But for now... Hmm, what's this? If you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we will give you something good. Okay, sure. This is a uh, little mini-game. This try, your time was 10 seconds. You qualify. Congratulations. I present you with a piece of heart. Thank you. I actually didn't know about that shortcut. I thought you had to go all the way around, and it's almost impossible to do that without a particular item. But no, there is a shortcut you can use right there, which is pretty cool. So, uh, thanks to whoever taught me how to do that. For now, though, let's talk to this guy. Pay me 20 rupees and I'll let you open one chest. You can keep what's inside. Sure, let's do this. Alright, I'm a winner. You can't open any more chests. The game is over. I disagree. I'd like to open these two chests, please. Please? Fine. Hey, don't judge me. They drove me to do that. Do not judge me. <laughs> okay, so what else does this town have to offer? Well, if we go over here, back to where that kid was. We didn't enter this house earlier, but this is actually the shop. You can buy some items if you want, but I'd rather not. The only thing worthwhile is 150 rupees anyway, and I have 140, so I can't exactly buy anything anyway. But still, it was nice to take a look at least. Oh, shut up! You know what? I'm just gonna leave him alone. Because we have more stuff over here. Ow! Oh, there, apparently there's a bomb right there. Interesting. Interesting maneuver, Star Fox. Hey, what's up? If my lost partner returns, we can temper your sword, but now I can't do anything for you. Looks like you're making bread. Om nom 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 nom. That really looks like bread. Maybe it's also a bakery. Maybe they're just using the hammer to kind of, you know, make the dough more thick and less sticky. Well, before we leave, uh, we have to uh, grab that other chest and then see what's behind that wall. But after that, I think we can go pay a visit to that elder. Sounds like a good idea to me.
Okay, got 20 more rupees. And here we have... Oh, more rupees. And another piece of heart. Which means we have three altogether. I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, I think we're done with this uh, place for right now. So let's go ahead and make our way to the... Well, the desert-looking area that's over here. Okay, we gotta go past the sanctuary. Go across the bridge. Go through the little desert thing. And then, uh, yeah, it's over here. So let's start making the journey. There's lots of other points of interest that we can explore at this point, but I'll try to save those for later when I'm actually in the areas. For now, there's very little that we can do right now. There are actually a lot of hidden stuff throughout this game. But the good thing, unlike a Zelda 1, which was like a pain to find all the hidden items and objects, it's actually not bad here. Everything's pretty damn obvious. And even if it's not, you can at least make good assumptions throughout the whole game where something might be. That's one of the things I really like about this game that improved over the first game by far. Okay, here's the bridge. There's a crab. Also, let's test the shield. This is basically how the shield works. However, if you're moving, I don't think the shield will work. Oh no, it'll work, it'll work. Just gotta have it in front of you, I guess. Also, notice how we have ten arrows, but we have no bow to use the arrows with. Hmm. Maybe we'll find the bow soon. That's my hope, anyway. Okay, I'd say we're about where the Elder is. Yep, he's up here. So let's do this. This is actually a pretty good hiding place, I have to admit. You wouldn't think of looking for an Elder here, that's for sure. Anyway, is this the place? Yes, it is. I am indeed Sahasharalalala, the village elder and a descendant of the seven wise men. Oh really? Slim, I am surprised a young man like you is searching for the sword of evil's bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you really want to find it? Yeah. Good. As a test, can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now, go forward to the palace. Okay, sounds very obscure, but I'm ready to take on the challenge. Also, broken wall here. Alrighty then, let's see what's behind this door. Got some bombs, 50 rupees, and 50 rupees. Wow, this guy's loaded. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa, love you. But anyway, I think uh, this will about do it for this video, so let's make our way to the East Palace, which is right over here, and then we can stop things right there. Also, watch out for the Armo statues. They're not too much of a threat, and they take like four or five hits, but they can still be kind of annoying. Ah! No, go away from me. Ow! little rock guy thing hit me from up here. Kind of surprised me. Well, here we are. The Eastern Palace. Let's do this.